Hello everybody, it's Nick here with Nick Tolman Music and today we are going to continue our beginner guitar lesson series using Hal Leonard's Guitar Method, Book 1. Let's get started. Alright, so today we're going to be looking at page 10. And as always, I'll toss out my reminder, if you haven't already checked out my Patreon page, please do so. These guitar lessons are coming to you for free here on YouTube, and I'm happy to give them out. But uh, if you love this content, if it's helping you out, if you would like to see more of it, please consider becoming a patron on my Patreon account today. All right, so on page 10, we have uh, two exercises. There are two songs that we're going to learn on the guitar. This is a really exciting point in the book because to me this is like the first song that you learn how to play on guitar. All right, so exercise 17 is Ode to Joy. You're familiar with the melody, I'm sure. Famous melody from uh, Beethoven from his Ninth Symphony. It's just a wonderful, wonderful melody that everybody knows. And you can play it with the first six notes that we've learned on the guitar with the top two strings, all right? So... We're gonna start out, I'm gonna play this at 72 on the metronome so you can hear what it's all about. I'll do a quick kind of like walkthrough of just things to look out for, maybe some ideas for practicing. And then I'll show you what it sounds like with the chords. And then we'll try it at a faster tempo as well. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and hear exercise 17. This is Ode to Joy at 72 on the metronome. One, two, ready and play. And there we go, that's the melody at 72. All right, so let's talk about this a little bit. You'll notice right away that this is the longest song that we've learned in the book, okay? But don't let that freak you out because you'll notice something. If you look at the notes on the first line, okay, so the first line we have. Okay, now look at the notes on the second line. They're almost identical. It's just the last three notes that are different. So now look at the last line. It's identical to the second line, all right? Mm -hmm. So the reality is, is once you learn the first line, you've learned three fourths of the song, all right? It's, it is very repetitive. So don't let the length of it freak you out. Um, it's, it, it's very accessible. You're definitely going to be able to learn this. Now, to me, the third line is the one that gives people the most problems. It has the most kind of like awkward skips with notes and things like that. The first two lines generally just kind of walk up the notes and walk down in a very comfortable manner. But that third line is a little tricky. So let's look at it really quick. So third line, the first measure we're just starting on that D we have... Okay, for me that tends to be my first chunk. Let's just look at the first two measures. Right, there's really nothing fancy about it. There's no secret to it. It's just kind of getting used to, to doing it, right? Getting our fingers used to moving with these notes. So I'll just do it a few more times.
Okay, then moving on to the next two measures of that line. You'll notice that that third measure is very similar to the second measure. And then the fourth measure. All right, so that's kind of what it is. I would break, if you need to like have the third line be its own chunk, that's great. But if you need to break it down even smaller and just focus on each measure of that line, that's totally fine. Do what you need to do to be successful on that. All right. And then it's just a matter of kind of putting it all together. There's nothing, like I said, there's nothing fancy on this song. It's just a matter of familiarizing yourself with it. Take it nice and slow and gradually build. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and kick the metro. I'm going to keep it here at 72. I'm going to play some chords for you. I'm going to show you what it sounds like with the chords. Feel free to play along. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready and play. And there it is. Let's jump this tempo up to 120 and see what it sounds like at a faster tempo. Here's the melody. One, two, ready, play. And there it is at 120. Let's hear it with the chords. All right, so feel free to play along. Here are the chords with the melody. One, two, one, two, ready, play. And that's that. All right, let's take a look at the next exercise, which is exercise number 18, all right? So 18 is called blues. And yeah, it's gonna use these first six notes. It's pretty straightforward. Let's hear how it sounds, all right? So this is 72 on the metronome, exercise 18, here we go. One, two, and ready, and play. And there we go, that's that at 72. Again, to me, whenever I'm starting to learn a new song, I love to look for like the similarities, for the things that are repeated, so I can be as efficient as possible as far as my time in learning this song. The first thing that I notice with this is if you look at the third and fourth measure of each line, they're the same, right? So third and fourth measure of the top line,
Third and fourth measure of the second line. And now this last note just stays on G that time. It's essentially the same. It's one note different. And then again, third and fourth measure of the third line. So as soon as you learn those two measures, you know half of the song and, and have it down, right? So that's really encouraging for me when I'm like, oh man, I sat down for five minutes, I learned those two measures and I know half the song. So look for those kinds of things as you're learning these new songs and look for the repetitions and things that you can lock, lock onto to help you be efficient, all right? So I'd start maybe, maybe focusing on that chunk, making sure you have it. Now, you will notice that the first two measures of each line are different. They're just totally different on each one, and that's totally fine. It's just it's just new material on each one. So I would take each of those chunks individually. So the first two measures of the first line. Okay. Again, repeat that as slowly and as many times as you need to. That's what it that's what it sounds like. Here are the first two measures of the second line. Again, practice that chunk as much as you need to. And then the first two measures of the third line are the, is probably the easiest chunk in the whole thing. Right? So once you kind of visualize the music in that way and you're seeing these different chunks and you're like, you realize right away like, oh, I don't need to spend time on this chunk or these three chunks. I just need to focus on this, right? That that helps you to be efficient about learning the music, all right? So let's uh, let's go ahead and try this with the chords. So you've worked you've worked through all these chunks. You've kind of smoothed it all out. It's it's happening now. I'm going to play the chords and the melody together. You can play along. One, two, ready and play. And there we go. I give you a nice little uh, bluesy background so you can play along with it, all right? So let's try this up at 120. Here's the melody at 120. One, two, one, two, ready, and. And there we go. Let's go and try it with the chords, all right? So I'm gonna play that chord uh, progression that I did before, and you can play along with the melody. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, and. And there you go. So that's all for today's lesson. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Uh, as always, please check out my Patreon page. Check out my website at www.nicktolmanmusic.com for extra exercises, more content to help you as you're learning guitar. And we will catch you next time. Thanks.